unboxing so last but I guess not least we have the one-handed grip plus uh, beat a ball loader I think that is uh, yeah okay I was a little worried there for a second because I was looking at the box it seemed to focus a lot on the uh, uh, loader here so I wasn't sure if there was a one-handed grip but yep it's right there so on the back of the box here we have a shot of chrome what is that yeah if you'll zoom in Yes. Okay, there we go. We have a shot of Chrome Raven right there with uh, the DHB armor customized with the one-handed grip and loader. We have a sprue kit here with all the pieces. And on the side, again, another shot of both parts of what you'll be getting. Um, showing it with the DHB set. And on the front, we have Anju for some reason. I don't know why, because last time I checked, the one-handed grip was a... Uh, attachment that Gray used, so I don't know why Andrew's there, but he's there. We got the Sonokong logo, so you know it's legit, and on the side, more or less the same thing that we've seen on the back and on the other side, and I have more barcode information, the Sonokong logo, so on and so forth. And here we have the extra strike shots, so these are the impact shots, and I believe this is the double shot. So, uh, with these ones, um, these little iron pieces go inside the uh, other shell of the beetle ball here. And when you fire them, they're supposed to basically come apart and you have two beetle balls flying at each other or at your opponent. So that's pretty cool. Um, so those are for Wing Sword Thunder, which is a limited edition beat -em on which is pretty hard to find. So if I find him online, I'll most likely get him and do a review on him. I might get the original Wing Sword first, but you know. I'll definitely get him if I see him. So on the back here, it shows how the, the uh, double shot works, which we won't get in, won't get too much into, considering that we don't have his blaster. But you know, so those are the extra shots with the uh, three impact ones, of course, with uh, impact shark. So I will cut the video here, and I will bring you the handle grip and the loader fully assembled. Okay, so I have the loader and the one-handed grip assembled. Now, from the looks of it, it looks really cool, as you can see from uh, all these really cool decals that are on it. Uh, again, the loader is very efficient for loading in a lot of beetle balls. I'm not entirely sure how many they hold, but here are the shots that came in the pack. We got three impact shots, and we got three split shots. I believe that's what they're called. And, yeah... So I got all those in, and it seems like there's still a lot more room, considering how much space is in the DHB core, as well as in this um, uh, magazine at the top, as well as the loader. It seems like it can hold quite a bit. That's pretty cool. The one-handed grip. The concept of holding the blaster with one hand and firing at the back is what you would think to be pretty cool, of course. However, there is a problem. The grip is too high. Um, the way this is designed, I don't really think they th really thought this through, but uh, when I saw the one-headed grip on the show, I tried imitating it, you know, on, you know, uh, my own beat em -ons back in the day, and I noticed that if I were to hold it from here, the trigger would be kind of hard to reach. And with this grip, it actually doesn't fix that problem. In fact, it's a little harder because if you hold onto this while pulling, pushing on the trigger, I pull this part of the magazine off of the blaster. So it is very, yeah, just like that. So yes, the one-handed grip, unfortunately, seems cool, but it is a dud, I'm afraid. It's not good in any shape or form. I think whoever made this thought of the concept thought it was pretty cool, but I don't know. This seems like a really big mess up on their part because this does not work in any way, shape or form. I've tried various other ways of holding it, but not any that involved one hand, which is what this was intended for. So unfortunately, the one hand grip is a fail. The loader seems okay, but it comes only with the grip. 
so it's really not worth the purchase, unfortunately. The rest of the set is pretty cool. As you can see here, I got Blazing Kaiser in the armor, one because I had him on hand and I wanted to put him in here with his DHB armor. Because with Impact Shark, the uh, shoulder armor doesn't quite stick on too well. So, anyway. Yeah, the rest of the set's pretty cool. The DHB armor is cool. The beat em on itself, Impact Shark, is pretty cool. But um, the one hand grip and loader, unfortunately, not really worth the buy. It looks cool. It is kind of cool in concept. But in the long run, it doesn't work. And unfortunately, that's where most of the product matters and it doesn't pull through for that so unfortunately the this setup is a no-go basically uh, on the side note the split shots are pretty cool I guess you need the proper core because from how it's supposed to work when you fire them yep just like that this little uh, piece of metal is supposed to fly out when it's launched so that's pretty cool got your three impact shots for impact shark so again gives you some more ammunition that's pretty cool um, this stuff can all be assembled onto the armor using this allen key like thing so you can twist these screws off to pull these parts off if you wanted to and yeah so on and so forth so basically all in all this set's pretty cool it's worth the blaster and the DHB armor but unfortunately this one-handed grip uh, magazine combo it's not worth I mean I, I, I'd still pick up the set for this stuff but bear in mind that the grip and the handle are not important so if you're buying the set you know for the stuff then I wouldn't get I wouldn't get it but if you want everything else and you don't mind not having the one-handed grip or the magazine loader then knock yourself out um, but yes aside from that it's an okay purchase. Uh, I really would have preferred actually if this handle was designed properly, but unfortunately it doesn't work. I probably, I'm starting to run on my sentences over and over again, so I guess this is a good time to wrap the review, seeing as that's pretty much everything now. Got your three shots, the two split shots, the Allen key. So yes, that concludes the third part and the final part of the Union Set unboxing. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.